Welcome to my channel. For those of you who do not know, I am Corum. I am also known as VlogMN, which is my channel name, or the vlogger from Minnesota. I have been making videos now since 2006 on one channel or another, and it's t uh, something that I've been trying to work on improving recently. I've been gathering a few tweets over the past few weeks. I've been wanting to make um, Twitter response videos for a while. And I figured now would be a good time to start. Having said that, this video is difficult for me to write. Just because of the amount of research that I had to do. I'm trying to make this video where I respond to the different tweets about different topics. And this is one of the topics that I wanted to talk about. The thing that, uh, the thing is that, uh, this was a video that was difficult for me to write. There's been a lot of misinformation floating around about vaccines and about COVID. So I wanted to make a video that uses different actual media sources and provide information on the topic. Of course, this requires me to have done some research. Before I get into the video, I want to claim I do not know everything, nor do I claim that I am smart. I want to try and get all my information from medical sources, but I do get some information from Wikipedia, uh, Wikipedia as well. I just try and do my research about whatever I talk about, so I like to think that I'm learning about whatever I talk about in my videos. The amount of repetition in this video, regardless of whether it's from the tweets that I gathered or my responses that I have to them kind of made me lose my mind here there was so much repetition from all of these tweets that I actually think that I lost my mind a bit I think that I had a bit more common sense than some of these people now, I want to say that I'm not the best at explaining things. I do my best to explain things in this video. And I think I did a somewhat decent job of explaining things. But I know I could do a better job at doing that. I want to say that regardless of what I say in this video, I want you to do your own research. And I think that vaccines are a good preventative measure against different viruses and illnesses. Damn right I'm scared shitless. I'm scared shitless because somehow people think that it's a good idea to not take a vaccine that is designed to help them. I'm scared that people think it's a good idea to not do something that will not only help themselves but help other people I'm scared that I think or I'm scared that people think vaccines are bad and I'm scared that a lot of people do not trust science ultimately I'm scared that people think that it is a good idea to not take care of themselves. Now, I'm not saying that science is completely right 100% of the time. Science can always be improved. Having said that, just because science isn't always right, it doesn't mean that science can't be trusted. Science is always looking for correct answers, and science is always looking for the truth. Regardless of whether the vaccine is the best option, they're always working on improving it. 
as with other vaccines, the COVID vaccine is supposed to work by helping your body prevent COVID. And it's supposed to help reduce the symptoms if a person catches it. At this point, there's an, as far as I know, there isn't a vaccine that makes your body immune from catching whatever it's fighting. Do you know something that would help alleviate the fear of, you know, all of this? And it's a fear that many people have. Doing research. If you do your research, it will help you gain more knowledge. The information is out there and it is easily accessible. The fear will start to go away if you do your research based on whatever topic you're scared of. It depends on whether there are consequences in the future or not. At this point, I don't think you can sue anyone for fatigue, headache, and a bit of pain at the injection site of the vaccine. Also, I don't think Joe Biden is the one to sue if something happens because of the vaccine for a couple of reasons. Firstly, Trump was talking about getting the vaccine. It was created when Trump was the president, and eventually he started telling people to take the vaccine. Secondly, regardless of whether or not Trump was involved in promoting the vaccine, you can't sue the president for a vaccine. But you can sue the company of that vaccine. If you are able to prove that you took that specific vaccine. Lastly, just because you don't... Uh, if you don't know about vaccines, I recommend doing research. Don't just take my word for it just because I'm saying something about it. I may have done some research, <clears throat> but I'm nowhere near where I should be when it comes to knowledge of, of the uh, vaccine. Do your research. For the love of God, just do your research. Having said that, I wonder where the stereotype of people in the United States being overly ready to sue other people comes from. I don't see it. If, I, yeah, I don't know how this stereotype started and I'm ready to sue anyone who says otherwise. If you don't like my answer, sue me. Well, since I haven't had a blood transfusion, and I haven't asked about blood transfusions, I don't even know if this is an option. If it isn't an option, and I'm not saying it's not, I'm not saying it is, but if it isn't an option, then I think it should be an option. So, I've heard a lot, but I don't know how to say any of it without getting this video banned or taken down. I will say that COVID is still an issue. If you have to go out in public, please be cautious. Don't be afraid of wearing a mask, because masks do help. Be sure to get the vaccine as well, because the vaccine does help. Here's the thing. The vaccine is only as effective as the precautions a person takes. Meaning two things are true. If a person goes out into large crowds of people who are sick, the chances of that person getting sick are greatly increased. And if you stay home and use a mask or a face covering when you go out, 
and you actively try to avoid people when you go out, that means that there's less of a chance that you'll catch whatever virus or cold or sickness or whatever is going around. The way I see it, you can't have it both ways here. What I mean by that is simple. You can't complain about how people are telling you to get vaccinated when you're sitting there actively complaining about how the virus is making people sick which can have its effects reduced by getting the vaccine and taking other preventative measures. I may have the wrong point of view here, but the way I see it is the way I explained it. If you're sitting there complaining about how you're not taking the vaccine, and you're going out into large crowds of people who are potentially sick without taking precautions, then my opinion is that you're contributing to the spread of a virus that could be prevented by staying home or wearing a face covering if going out is necessary. I've always been fearful of what's in the future because I don't know what's going to happen in the future. The difference between me in the past who's been fearful of that stuff and the me now who is fearful of that stuff is that now I am factoring in other people's stupidity. I am extra scared because now I've seen how stupid some people can be and that is what scares me. If you really want things to return to normal, then I have a few suggestions. My first suggestion is to start wearing masks again. My second suggestion is to get the vaccine. At this point, my final suggestion is to consider changing what you're doing. Because you can't change the problem by doing the same things that caused the problem in the first place. I mean, the literal definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Here's the thing. The vaccine is only as effective as the precautions a person takes. Meaning two things are true. If a person goes out into large crowds of people who are sick, the chances of you getting sick are greatly increased. And if, you, and if you stay home and use a mask or face covering when you do go out, and if you actively avoid people when you do go out, that means there's less of a chance that you'll catch whatever virus or cold or sickness or illness or whatever is going around. The way I see it, you can't have you can't have it both ways what I mean by that is simple you can't complain about how people are telling you to get vaccinated when you're sitting there actively complaining about how the virus is still making people sick which can have its effects reduced by getting the vaccine and by taking other preventative measures As I said before, I may have the wrong point of view here, but the way I see it is the way I explained it. If you're sitting there complaining about how you're not taking the vaccines, and you're going out into large crowds of people who are potentially sick without taking any precautions, then my opinion is that you're contributing to the spread of the virus that could be prevented by staying at home or wearing a face covering when going out is necessary.
I think it's kind of ironic that Sarah Huckabee Sanders said that they were going to reduce the amount of laws where, regarding wearing masks and pe having people take vaccines when that will only make things worse. Here's the thing. The vaccine is only as effective as the precautions a person takes. Meaning, two things are true. If a person goes out into large crowds of people who are sick, the, per the chances of that person getting sick are greatly increased. And if you stay home and use a mask or face covering when you go out, and if you actively avoid other people when you go out, that means that there's less of a chance that you'll catch whatever virus or cold or sickness is going around. The way I see it, you can't have it both ways here. What I mean by that is simple. You can't complain about how people are telling you to get vaccinated when you're sitting there complaining about how the virus is still making people sick, which can have its effects reduced by getting the vaccine and by taking other preventative measures. I may have the wrong point of view here, but the way I see it is the way I explained it. If you're sitting there complaining about how you're not taking the vaccine and you're going out into large crowds of people who are potentially sick without taking precautions, then my opinion is that you're contributing to the spread of the virus that could be prevented by staying at home or wearing a face mask or face covering if going out is necessary. So, there are people who make mistakes, and there are people who say things that are not correct. It doesn't invalidate the effectiveness of the vaccine. In fact, this tweet kind of reinforces what I've been saying from the beginning. Do your research. Protect yourself from this stuff. Here's the thing, the vaccine is only effect as effective as the precautions a person takes, meaning, one, uh, meaning two things are true. If a person goes into large crowds of people who are sick, the chances of you getting sick are greatly increased, and if you stay home and if you use a face mask or face covering when you do go out, and if you actively avoid people when you go out, that means there's less of a chance that you'll catch whatever virus or cold or sickness or illness is going around. The way I see it, you can't have it both ways here. What I mean by that is simple. You can't complain about people telling you to get vaccinated when you're sitting there actively complaining about how the virus is still making people sick which can have its eff effects reduced by getting the vaccine and by taking other preventative measures I may have the wrong point of view here but the way I see it is the way I explained it if you're sitting there complaining about how you're not taking the vaccine and if you're going out into large crowds of people who are potentially sick without taking precautions, then my opinion is that you're contributing to the spread of the virus that could be prevented by staying home or wearing a face covering if going out is necessary. Is this repetition getting annoying yet? There are a few things in this post that this person is covering. I think this person is trying to distract people with a lot of information for a couple of reasons. Firstly, I think the person is trying to confuse us all 
because whoever they are is confused on what they're trying to say. It takes a lot of person. Uh, it takes a lot for a person to not be able to write a full sentence on the amount of characters that Twitter provides, and Twitter forces people to be concise. Secondly, I think this person is trying to use a fear mongering tactic because deep down. I think they're scared about what's going on and they want to make everyone else feel the same fear that they feel so they don't feel alone. I'm going to repeat something that I said at the beginning of the video and say doing research will help alleviate some of that fear. Having said that, I will cover each of the topics in order. Firstly, and this may be an oversimplification, the gay agenda is to feel loved and to feel equal. As I said before, that may be a gross oversimplification of what it is, but there are so many people out there who are either holding back people of the LGBTQ plus community or are actively working against equality. There are laws being passed by the people in charge that are actively, re re some of whom are actively repressing gay people. There are people on the street who are actively either attacking, fighting, or shooting people who are part of the LGBTQ plus community. The only thing people who are part of the LGBTQ plus community, including gay people, want is to be treated as equals. When it comes to the vaccine, the vaccine is only as effective as the precautions a person takes. Meaning two things are true. If a person goes out into large crowds of people who are sick, the chances of you getting sick are greatly increased. And if you stay home, or if you use a mask or face covering when you go out, and if you actively avoid people when you go out, that means there's less of a chance that you'll catch whatever virus or cold or sickness or illness is going around. As I keep saying, the way I see it, you can't have it both ways here. What I mean by that is simple. You can't complain about how people are telling you to get vaccinated when you're sitting there actively complaining about how the virus is still making people sick which can have its effects reduced by getting the vaccine and by taking other preventative measures. I may have m made um, my the wrong point or um, I may have even given an incomplete point of view here. But I tried my best to explain it the way that I see it. Now, a somewhat difficult topic for me to talk about is what's happening in Ukraine. I'm not saying that these other topics weren't difficult for me to talk about. The reason you, that Ukraine is more difficult for me to talk about is because I haven't been following what's been happening in Ukraine. I believe war and invasion are wrong. I don't think war should be happening, nor do I think invasion should be happening. As I said before, I'm not following what is happening in Ukraine. I do want to make a video in the future where I talk about what is happening in Ukraine, if YouTube will allow it. But I want to do research on what is happening. I want to cover what is happening over there without giving my opinions on what is happening. Meaning I want to provide just the facts on what is happening and less of my beliefs. 
If I make a video about what is happening in Ukraine, I don't want to give my opinions on what is happening. As for the actor, as far as I know, he is found to be not guilty for what happened. As far as I know, it was a mistake that it happened. As for what actually happened, I wasn't there, so I don't think I'm I don't think I'm able to say anything about what happened. I didn't see what happened. All I know is what was reported. I don't know exactly what happened, and I can't say anything one way or the other about what happened. As for global warming, and I'm just speaking on my experiences on this part, I remember hearing about it from the 1990s up until when 9-11 happened. In fact, I haven't really heard anything about global warming since 9-11 happened. With the rare instance of someone trying to use global warming as a way to try and fearmonger us and remind us about how Democrats tried to teach and or fearmonger us in the 90s. When it comes to fearmongering, it comes from both sides of the political spectrum. Democrats and Republicans have both have the capability to fearmonger. That's what's so messed up about the politics in the United States. It it isn't something that I enjoy about politics. And it's something that applies to all my Twitter response videos. Because somehow everything I'm planning to use so far in my Twitter response videos, literally everything has been politicized. And nobody listens to anyone else about anything anymore. Now, the reason so many people are angry at the unvaccinated people is because the unvaccinated people are doing everything within their power to go against the recommendations from doctors. There are so many people out there who don't vaccinate, who also go into large crowds while sick and spreading the virus. So many people are out there trying to not catch COVID and the people who don't vaccinate are spreading the virus while so many people are trying to not become sick. When it comes to the vaccine, the vaccine is only as effective as the precautions a person takes. Meaning two things are true. If a person goes out into large crowds of people who are sick, the chances of you getting sick are greatly increased. And if you stay home and use a face mask or covering when you do go out, and if you actively avoid people who, when you do go out, that means you'll have less of a chance that you'll catch whatever virus or cold or sickness is going around. As I keep saying, the way I see it, you can't have it both ways here. You can't sit there and complain about how people are telling you to get vaccinated while you're sitting there actively complaining about how the virus is still making people sick, which can have its effects reduced greatly by getting the vaccine and taking other preventative measures. If you're sitting there complaining about how you're not taking the vaccine and if you're going out into large crowds of people who are potentially sick without taking any sort of precautions then my opinion is that you are contributing to the spread of a virus that could be prevented by staying home or wearing a face covering if going out is necessary. And I am blessed to not know Antonio Sabato Jr. Because I would not want to spend time with a person who doesn't vaccinate and intentionally spreads COVID.
Now, the reason masks had zero efficacy in preventing COVID is because people have been actively going against the recommendations from the beginning. It's not like the masks and the vaccines were being recommended to prevent COVID from being spread or anything. And for those of you who do not know, that was a bit of irony or sarcasm or whatever. It was a joke. The vaccine is there to help prevent COVID from being spread. It's not like they found an actual vaccine that's supposed to help prevent the vaccine. Not eliminate it completely, just prevent. It's not like they recommended masks from the start. And it's not like they said that the masks would help slow the spread of COVID. It's not like people are started throwing temper tantrums like toddlers because masks are, at most, an inconvenience. When it comes to the vaccine, the vaccine is only as effective as the precautions a person takes. Meaning two things are true. If a person goes out into large crowds of people who are sick, the chances of you getting sick are greatly increased. And if you stay home, <coughs> and if you use a mask or face covering when you do go out, and if you actively avoid people when you do go out, that means there's less of a chance that you'll catch whatever virus or cold or sickness is going around. Here's the thing I find ironic about this tweet. It was made by an RN. I would have expected a nurse to be a little more supportive of vaccines being released. And I would, would have expected that a nurse would have been a bit more willing to wear a mask in order to prevent a pandemic. I mean, there are people in other cultures who wear masks and they tend to have a little bit lower statistic of people who catch communicable diseases. I mean, it's not like some people would think that they're not trying. Things like vaccines, masks, social distancing, were recommended from the beginning. Many of the people who don't follow instructions to take the vaccines or wear the masks or follow the instructions to social distance have also said that they've gone through hell once they've caught COVID. There are even a few people who didn't learn from those mistakes and wound up catching COVID a second time only to go through hell a second time. When it, as I keep saying, when it comes to the vaccine, the vaccine is only as effective as the precautions a person takes. Meaning if a person goes into large crowds of people who are possibly sick, the chances of you getting sick are greatly increased. And if you stay at home and use a mask or face covering when you go out, and if you actively avoid people when you go out, that means there's less of a chance that you'll catch whatever's going around. Here's the uh, thing that I find ironic about this tweet. It was made by a doctor. Or a nurse. I would have expected a nurse to be a little more supportive of vaccines being released. I would have expected a bit more willingness for a nurse to wear a mask in order to prevent a pandemic. Who would do that? I mean, seriously, who? 
So the website for the World Health Organization says that they work to promote, they work worldwide to promote health, keep the world safe, and serve the vulnerable. It says that they want to protect people from health emergencies, provide universal health coverage, and provide people with better health and well-being. All that's coming from the World Health Organization's website. I don't think that the World Health Organization should be defunded as they are actively working on trying to make the people of the world healthier. It should be a goal of everyone to be healthier and that should include people using vaccines and face masks and also use, utilizing social distancing. I don't think wearing a mask can be equated to what you claim. I would assume that a doctor would know the difference between preventing a virus outbreak and child abuse. Do you want me to cover the difference between the two? Because I'll gladly cover the differences between the two. I'll even make a special YouTube video for you, Robert W. Malone, MD. Here's the thing. I know that specific courses in school need to be taken prior to becoming a medical doctor. There are the obvious courses like general chemistry, organic chemistry, and biology, so the doctor can know where body parts are and how medications will react with most people's bodies. Then, of course, there's the uh, one year of English courses that are also required to become an MD. One person, or one would expect a person who has to pass college level English courses to know the difference between wearing a mask and child abuse. I also like the fact that you brought children into this. I see that you have a little bit of background in psychology and manipulation and are trying to get people to make a decision based on using emotions and no logic. I know that children are important, but we cannot protect them by actively doing things that do not protect them. As I keep saying, when it comes to the vaccine, the vaccine is only effective as a, the precautions a person takes. It's only as effective as the precautions a person takes, meaning two things are true. If a person goes out into large crowds of people who are sick or potentially sick, the chances of you getting sick are greatly increased. If you stay home and use a face mask or face covering when you go out, and if you actively avoid other people when you go out, that means there's less of a chance that you'll catch whatever virus or cold or sickness or illness or whatever is going around. The thing I find ironic about this tweet, it was made by an MD. As I said before with the nurse thing, I would have expected a doctor to be a bit more supportive of vaccines being released, and I would have, would have expected a bit more willingness to wear a mask in order to prevent a pandemic. I mean, I wish I didn't have to go into detail about this type of thing, but I'm starting to think that eventually I'm going to have to go into detail about the difference between wearing masks and child abuse. So, Dr. Robert W. Malone, MD, if you're seeing this video and want me to make a video specifically for you, let me know. I also didn't think I would have to explain 
how masks and a vaccine work, especially to a doctor. I didn't think I'd have to explain that to a doctor or a nurse, especially with no medical background in uh, college. Now, from day one, I've been told that vaccines are there to help prevent disease, not to completely eliminate the disease. From day one, I was told that we don't have the capability to give one vaccine in order to completely eliminate a specific disease. If my f dumb, fat, and deaf ass can say that I've been told that from day one, then what's everyone else's excuse? I mean, I've been trying to understand why so many people didn't get this explained to them when they were growing up. It's not like vaccines are so new that they can't help. The thing is that we can't always completely eradicate a virus, especially on day one. Precautions have to be taken. One of those precautions is producing an effective vaccine. And that takes time. The thing is, in order, f <clears throat> in order for the vaccine to work, people need to take the vaccine and social distance. Now, the CDC was implemented by Harry Truman. The FDA was implemented by FDR. Both were Democrats. As with the World Health Organization, both the CDC and the FDA were implemented to help with providing better options. One with disease control, and one with food and drugs, including vaccines and medicine. Now, regardless of whether they were implemented by Democrats or Republicans, I don't think they should be banned. They're supposed to be impartial, and they're supposed to be here to provide impartial advice. So far, I think that what they're doing is somewhat of a decent job. The only reason it's incurable right now is that because so many people are not following the few steps that are in place. Those steps are, one, get a vaccine. Two, social distance if you need to go out. Three, wear a mask if you need to go out. Now, I'm going to say one of my favorite quotes from a movie that was released in 1997. I don't think anyone would have heard of it. It wasn't too popular of a movie. And it starred a couple of unknown actors named Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith. The movie is called Men in Black. Tommy Lee Jones's character says... A person is smart. People are dumb, panicky, dangerous animals, and you know it. 1,500 years ago, everybody knew that the Earth was the center of the universe. 500 years ago, everyone knew that the Earth was flat. And 15 minutes ago, you knew that humans were not alone on this planet. The thing is, there's another quote from the same movie that I think is starting to apply to people regardless of who they are. There's always an Arquillian bat battle cruiser, or a Carillion death ray, or an intergalactic plague that's about to wipe out all life on this miserable little planet. 
And the only way these people can get on with their happy lives is that they do not know about it. Now, I know that not every person is an idiot. And I'm not calling anyone in particular an idiot. What I'm saying is that social media is giving the idiots a voice. Now I realize that there's a lot more, or I realize that there are a lot of things that I do not know. And I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong if I'm presented with information that shows me that I'm wrong. But if someone is trying to prove me wrong, I'm going, uh, I'm going to need evidence and you're going to have to prove to me that I'm wrong. I'm not just going to take your word because you say that you're correct or that I'm incorrect. It's not like textbooks are full of science or history or math or other things that have credible sources. I'm not trying to repeat myself here, even though I've done a lot of repeating in this video already. And I know that many people have different viewpoints and beliefs than I do. I'm not here to criticize religion. I'm just saying that I disagree with this statement. Because I believe a person can learn more from textbooks than they can from the Bible. I'm also not saying that a person can't learn things from the Bible. Like I said, I'm not here to criticize religion or religious texts. I am saying that at this point, I believe religion is less of a credible source than science. When it comes to the vaccine, the vaccine is only as effective as the precautions a person takes. Which means two things are true. If a person goes out into large crowds of people who are sick, the chances of you getting sick are greatly increased. And if you stay home, and if you use a mask or a face covering when you go out, and if you actively avoid people when you do go out, that means there's less of a chance that you'll catch whatever virus or cold or sickness is going around. Is the repetition starting to get annoying yet? If you really want things to return to normal, then I have a few suggestions. My first suggestion is to start wearing masks again when you're out in public. My second suggestion is to get the vaccine. My final suggestion is to consider changing what you're doing. Because you can't change a problem by doing the same things that caused the problem in the first place. When it comes to the vaccine, the vaccine is only as effective as the precautions a person takes. And I'm going to repeat myself here. Again, this means two things are true. If a person goes out into large crowds of people who are sick, the chances of that person getting sick are greatly increased. And if you stay home and use a mask or face covering when you need to go out, and if you actively avoid people when you go out, that means there's less of a chance that you'll catch whatever virus or cold or sickness is going around. If you want things to return to normal, my suggestions are start wearing masks again, get the vaccine, and consider changing what you're doing. Because you can't change a problem by doing the same things that caused the problem in the first place. The list of what's in each of the vaccines has been online since the beginning. 
I was able to pick up that same information from my primary doctor. And I was able to pick up that same information from the doctor who gave me my shots. The information's out there. I seriously question whether we'll advance as a society just based on how many times I've repeated myself in this video and how many times I've repeated the same things in this video. The information is available for everybody to find. Doctors have the information. The information is available online. If you're really worried about what's in the vaccine, then go do your research. I guess that the thing I wanted to show in this video is that a lot of the comments about the vaccines are the same or similar enough to be counted as the same. I didn't want to put this much effort into talking about the vaccines and I didn't think so many people would put that much effort into making the same argument against this stuff without providing proof. Another thing that I want to point out is that a lot of people left tweets where they claimed that they were alphas. Or they put alpha in their bio. And yet they all had the same argument and were all following like sheep. I thought alphas were supposed to be independent thinkers. And weren't supposed to have the same thoughts as other people. Having said that. I want to say that if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. I'm going to be leaving the comments section open for as long as I possibly can. So feel free to give me ideas on what types of other videos that you want to see. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. I do plan on making other videos like this and subscribing is the best way to receive notifications for when I upload videos. Lastly, for those of you wondering about my Qui-Gon Jinn videos, I'm still working on scripts, I'm still working on filming. The Qui-Gon Jinn videos are coming. Finally, I want to bring attention to the McNasty tweet that I responded to. I never thought that I would respond to one of his tweets in this way, and I was surprised to see one of his tweets about vaccines showing up in my Twitter feed. Having said that, I want to thank McNasty for producing content that I enjoy. If you enjoy gameplay footage and inappropriate humor that sometimes goes too far, Feel free to go to his channel and subscribe. Maybe you could let him know that I sent you and we'll see what happens from there. I would even be willing to play a few games with him on my gaming channel if enough of you get him to recognize me.